How's it going, boy? I see where the Metropolitan Opera House is going to open this season with Pagliacci. Yeah? That reminds me, I think I'll go to a Burlingue show tonight. How do you like this? Mr. Brisbane says that the capitalistic depression spasm is only a slight chill. He does, huh? Ah, those politicians are all alike. They're all of them crooks. Here's a piece about social economy. Social economy, a nuts to social economy. What's on the sporting page? Yeah, wrap your kisser around that. Many a meal together. Rex, he will never miss another one. Goodbye. Is that all you've got to do? It's all I can do for him. But if I had nerve enough, I'd go with him. Looks as though he might be a pretty good pooch. Uh, Maybe I can find a spot for him. You can? Sure. You mean that, officer? Oh, you got a phone, boy. <laughs> maybe, maybe real bone. What? Here. Goodbye, old pal. Hey, Joe, take care of the mouse hound for me, will you? I'll go over to the joint on the corner and get him something to eat. Hey, bud, give me a half a dollar's worth of bones. Oh, yeah, are you going to eat them? There's an argument for prohibition, huh? Where can I get some worms? Worms? You want some worms? Worms. Those long, slimy things with no eyes, no nose, and no expression. And yet the fish are crazy about them. Look, you better lay off that varnish. It'll have you jumping over matches. What, what a match? Uh, I'll match the quarters. Uh, come on, sit down. Take it easy. Put your puss in there. Uh, <laughs> yes. Oh, see, you're, you're a policeman, aren't you? Well, you want to make something out of it? I'll tell you what I'll do. Listen, I'll hide something and see if you can find it. Look, I'm going to hide my foot in a minute. Hey, I don't want to look for it. You won't have to look for it. You'll know where it is. Here you are. That's a lot of bones you're buying. Yeah, I got a little dog over here in the precinct house. I picked him up. Looks to me like he hadn't eaten in about three days. I want to give him a little treat. You're new around here, ain't you? Brand new. Hiya, Red. Here's a half a buck. Yeah, I know what it is. My name's not Red, and besides, I'm a blonde. Well, whatever you are, it's very beautiful hair. Where did you get it? Oh, go take a walk and feed your dog. Oh, all right, baby. I'll see you later. Yeah, lots later. So long, Bosco. Give my regards to your wife. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not married. You're not married, huh? Yeah. What a lucky woman. Uh, Who's going to pay that check? Uh, does it make any difference who pays for it? No. Well, then you pay it for it. I'm going fishing. I'm going fishing and I will go. Fishing and I will go. I might be fishing and I might be fishing. Well, it's good for you. Say, do you know Ed Keeley? What's his name? Who? Go on, scram, will you? You're scaring the dog. Oh, oh, that, that's a nice dog. That is a nice dog. What about it? Uh, has he got worms? Will you get out of here? Is you, what, uh, what kind of a dog is it? Police dog. Is it yours? Certainly. Uh, that, that's no police dog. That, that's a stool pigeon. Oh, you can't. 
can't get away with that. guys in for this. What's your name? Schultz. What's your name? Murphy. Can you lick this guy? Sure. Are you sure about it? Sure. Well, don't let me see you fighting. Who won? Who won what? The Spanish-American War. Watch your step. Let that be your last drop, Joe Morgan. Hello, Al. What are you doing down here? The captain sent me down to look this Duke Castanego. He's on the boat. Yeah? So he's a pretty tough guy, ain't he? Pretty bad hombre. Shot his way out of three or four scrapes. What are you going to do, run or make a pinch? But you can't pin anything on him. But someday, his foot will slip. He's in again. See, you're the officer, Ranger. Shandu, the magician. And you're the detective, Ranger. Sure I am. Well, listen. A fish just stole my bait. Now, what, what, what are you going to do about it? What are we going to do about what? I, I'm an American citizen, ain't I? Mm -hmm. OK, America, what do you want? I'm entitled to protection, ain't I? Sure you are. Well, a fish just stole my bait. Now, what are you going to do about it? Hey, what's the matter with you? Are you drunk? You ought to know. You're a detective. Wise guy. Who, him? No, you. Oh. Where do you get your liquor? Yeah. You know a place to get liquor? You do. Well, certainly I do, but I thought you knew a better place. I don't drink. Yeah, well, I do. I know you do. You drink like a fish. Uh, I drink like a fish. I... Oh, that reminds me, listen. A fish just stole my bait. Now, now, what are you going to do about it? I'm going to throw you in the hooska if you don't shut up. Oh, you're going to do what? You, you too. Come on, come on, come on. Get the rope. Get set up here. Hurry up. Ah, you. Hurry up. Come on. Come on. Get back. Come on. You would fall into your hand. Get back. Come on. Get back. 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 When you fished me off of the pier, you both dived in and sat on me and tried to drown me. <laughs> yes, yes, and you're all witnesses. Yes, give me the names, will you? Hey, we better feed him before we This is no right to treat a citizen. I've been a fisherman all my life. Yeah. 
You know, those crooks must have got away while we were in the river. Certainly they did. What'd you think they were gonna do? Hop in after us to keep us company? Well, even if they did get away, you saved a fellow's life. I just hope Chief Inspector John O'Brien hears about it. It'll do you a lot of good. Well, Rooney's the guy that ought to hear about it. Say, there's a great guy and a square shooter. I wouldn't be surprised if he got a medal. I don't want a medal. I want a dry suit of underwear. What happened to you, Poles? We fell in the drink. It's the first bath I ever had with my partner. How? I fell in and he hopped in to pull me out. I don't believe him. I fell overboard and he helped me out. Well, guzzle out. It'll warm you up. Ah, boy, that hits the spot. I'll be seeing you. Hey. Hiya, Red. Meet my friend, Al. How do you do, Al? Well, now that you've introduced me to Al, why don't you get somebody to introduce me to you? You've got a sweet little disposition. How would you like to go over the park with me and help me tramp down all the flowers? With feet like yours, you don't need me to help you. Let me know when you get a day off, will you? I'll take you for a nice trip through the cemetery. Love to. Let me know when you're making your last trip. All right, sweetheart. I'll be glad to do that for you. Just charge the coffee to me, will you, baby? Fresh. Oh, Trader Hornets is here. I'll be found himself in a bowl of chocolate. It's a fizzle, the blue sea, far from proper beast. Now, what are you doing back here? I, I want my change. What change? The change from my breakfast this morning. I gave you the money. Now, you get out of here, or I'll call a policeman. You could. Oh, that reminds me. I've just saved two policemen from drowning. I'm a hero. Let's try. What, what, what are you going to do about it? Oh, it's, oh, is that so? Oh, come on, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, come on, do it. I was, friends, oh. <laughs> Shout it, Joe. Give me Beekman, three, eight, five hundred. Hello, Mr. Bagnall. This is Helen. Can I talk with my sister? Hello? Hello, Helen. Yes. Yes, we're going to be married this month. I told Papa about it this morning. He was tickled to death. I'll tell you more about it tonight. Bye. Oh, Mr. Castanego, we haven't seen you in a year. No, we've been traveling in South America. Well, your things are still safe. Always safe, that's our motto. How's business? Oh, splendid. You'd be surprised how many people have converted their securities into cash and put all of their valuables in safety deposit boxes. Well, that's just what we're here for, to add to our little nest egg. Oh, well, come right in. Oh, by the way, what was our number? Oh, Miss Riley, what's the number of the Castanega box? 806. 806. Well, Catherine, long time no see. I thought you were never coming back. You haven't forgotten me, have you? No. Just a little remembrance. There is positively the last one. <laughs> I've got to go back to work. <laughs> you know, if you'll do what we want, you will never have to work again. Oh, yeah? Just one more little brandy? No, thank you. I'm going. Bye. 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 Are you going to 
do what I asked you? No, I do. Why did you have to come back? Just as I was beginning to forget you. Just as I managed to get things straightened out. Then you don't want to see me anymore. Oh, no, I didn't mean that. You want to see me again? Take you to dinner tonight. All right. What luck? She'll give me the numbers. Well, hadn't you better get them before the brandy wears off? I guess you're right. I'll drop in at the barber shop, then call for her at the bank and take her to dinner. See you back here about midnight. Good luck. Well, we're lucky to have a brother who works so fast with women. If it weren't for women, he wouldn't work at all. But you're right. He certainly polishes them off. Duke, you're going to take a little walk with us. Where to? Oh, just down to headquarters. Come on. That'll be all today. Get your coat and hat. Say, you haven't got anything on me. If you don't think so, you're crazy. Can you beat that? Who pays who and how? You're a credit to the force, Patrolman Dolan. And for saving that man from drowning, I'm going to recommend you a promotion. Detective Dolan, how does that sound to you? Jake, sir. Hmm. And as for you, you... Uh, what do you suppose you were sent to Pier 13 for? To fish? The Duke wasn't on the boat. No, but he was on that boat and he got off that boat. We know that. Well, he must have sneaked out the back door. The back door of a boat? Say, listen. The only thing I can save you is for you to stick around here with Dolan. Do what he does the way he does it, and then maybe you'll learn something. Or take him away. Jake, Captain. Jake, Captain. Well, I won't be needing this much longer. Now I know I'm going to change that derby I bought the other day. Oh, hello. Oh, never mind that hello. I meant to tell you this hat I bought, it's no good. I meant to tell you the hat's no good. Well, what are you kicking about? You only got one. I got hundreds of them here, and none of them are any good. <laughs> how do you think I feel about it? Yeah, how do you think he feels about it? Yeah, how do you think he... You got me doing it now. Come on, all kidding aside, I want another hat. Have you got a nice one? Sure, I got all kinds of hats. I got hard hats for hard heads, round hats for round heads, and soft hats for soft heads. Remember that if you ever want to buy a hat. Here you are. A happy warrior. There's a hat I sold Al Smith. There's a hat Smith wore when he ran for president. Yeah? He might have worn the hat when he ran, but he didn't win. I can't help it. I couldn't run for him. It's a little small. Yes, it is. It's yeah. a little small. Here, Just try that. All right. You know, I was disappointed. I thought Smith was going to win. Me too. There's enough Smiths in the phone book to elect him. Yeah. That's better. Much better. Too small. I want a black one anyway. Hey, that don't look bad. Try this one. You know, a Smith might have not made a bad president at that. Eh, you can't tell. It took two Smiths to make a cough drop. Yeah, that ain't bad. Huh? It's all right. I think I'll take this one. You'll okay. take it. Okay. Say, uh, maybe I ought to put your initials in it so nobody will steal it. Nobody will steal it? What are you talking about? I'm a detective. Nobody will steal it. He's a detective. Uh-huh. There's a fine detective. I sold him his own hat. Oh, hello there. Nice day. It was. Say, didn't I meet you somewhere once? I've been somewhere once. That's where I met you. Well, once was enough. Oh, uh, excuse me, Miss Riley, meet Officer Dolan. What do you mean, Officer? I'm a detective. Yeah, you can tell by your feet. Oh, fresh, huh? Fresh, huh? Hey, I just want to remind you of the wedding tomorrow night. Oh, it's going to be a wedding tomorrow night, huh? It's going to be a wedding tomorrow night. Yeah. Don't forget now, there's a wedding tomorrow night. I do. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. For as much as you have thus consented together in holy of wedlock, I now pronounce you man and wife. And may the devil take the first one that goes between you. <laughs> Just a minute, wife. There you are, Dan. Just a minute. There you are. Drink, huh? Come on. <laughs>
good beer. to be in the neighborhood and thought I'd like to congratulate the bride. Well, make it short. Hello, Kate. I see they got that strong-armed brother of yours after all. You don't think they can keep him locked up for long, do you? Well, as far as I'm concerned, they can keep him locked up for life. Now, is that a nice thing for your sister to say about my brother? Congratulations. Here's to the bride. So you waited until they locked my brother up and then ran out on him, eh? Oh, no. No, well, I... Well, let me tell you something. He'll be out in a week. You're still working in the same place? What if I am? Oh, so you are, eh? Well, I can square it with the Duke if you'll give him that list of numbers he wants. Oh, no. Please. So you're still crazy about the big boy? No. No. Well, he's still mad about you, you know that, don't you? and talk of nobody else each time I see him. Oh, don't remind me. Don't. Well, let me tell you something. And let me tell you something. Kate's through with the Duke for good, see? And we're through with you, so get out. So you're through with us, eh? We'll wait and see. I knew his coming here was bad news. Who put all those hats on the bed? I told him it was bad luck. What do you want around here? Nothing. Well, it better be nothing. Doesn't he know you're married? Sure. Just came to wish me good luck. Well, the best piece of luck you ever had was the day I got rid of his brother. I know it. He's out of my life for good. Shake on that. I mean it. On the level? Yeah. No, oh, that's the way to talk. Now, come on, snap into it. Remember, this is your wedding. Trig along, though your feet are dancing still, I know that your lonely heart is aching so. Keep smiling, my poor gigolo. What's a gigolo? A gigolo's a fella that takes money for gigolo. dancing with women. <laughs> Huh? Not in my house, he don't. Come on. Out the window, you must go. Your own gigolo. Here comes the cops. Well, that's a lamb. What kind of a joint is this? What's going on here, anyway? Yeah, what's going on here? Who are you? Oh, we're just celebrating my daughter's wedding, that's uh, all. Were. I just mm -hmm. celebrate... Oh, so you're getting married, huh? Well, cut out the noise, all of you. Yeah, cut out the noise, all of you. 
It's not my daughter Helen's getting married, it's my other daughter, Kate. Oh, it's Kate that's getting... Oh, you're not getting married, huh? Oh, I thought you were getting... Who said you were making any noise? Yeah, who said you were making any noise? Yeah, who said we were making any noise? My name's Danny Dolan, what's yours? Pat Riley. <laughs> that's the best handshake I've had for years. He's no crooner. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, what's that? that uh, that's Eddie, me new son-in-law. Ah. Oh, he's all right. Eddie, Eddie, come on, smile for the man now. Oh, come on, a big one. <laughs> there you are. You see, he's just a young horse. You can tell his age from his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> come on, have a drink, huh? No, no, no. Never drink while I'm on duty. No, never drink when I'm on duty. Uh, never drink when it, uh, what's this, a brother act or something? <laughs> come on, have a drink. No, no, no. We got to get back on the job. No, we got to get back to work. So long, yeah. Eddie, old boy. So long. Good luck to you. Good luck to the bride. And you know what I think about you. You know what he thinks about you. <laughs> Say, Sherlock, just what do you think of me? I think you're a pretty fresh Bezak. Pretty fresh Bezak. Wait downstairs. 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 And what's more, you got a lot to learn. A lot to learn. Hey, what are you trying to do, kid me? Good old Sherlock. You catch right on, don't you? What was that? Bridegroom must have dropped his teeth. <laughs> you know, you ain't such a bad kid after all. Say, uh, you want any of those palookas thrown out? No. They'll all be passing out pretty soon. Well, any time you want a favor done, just sing out. You can do me one right now. What? Put that derby on straight. Jake. Hey, Bezak. You want to do a favor for me? What is it? Park that water gum. Jake. Hey, Danny, that was a funny wedding we blew in on the other night, wasn't it? Yeah. Remember the guy with the big teeth that got married? Yeah. I heard that he fainted three times just before the ceremony. He did? Yeah, but it didn't help him any. They went right on with it anyway. Calling car 487. Calling car 487. Investigate a disturbance at Edge Charter House, opposite Pier 13. A drunken man. Edge Charter House. That's where that blonde Bezak of mine works. Give it a gas. Calling car 487. Calling car 487. Proprietor, this drunken man struck me with a fish, and I want him arrested. You'll have to tell it to the cops. They're on their way over here now. Yeah, tell it to Sweeney. I don't think my friend knows Mr. Sweeney. Well, then I'll introduce him. Proprietor, I insist on this man being arrested. He again struck me with a bloater. You're wrong, Ashley. It's a salmon. I know what it is. It's a bloater. I don't like to be contrary, but you were struck with a salmon. What's the use of wrangling? I know the difference between a bloater and a salmon. You're both wrong. It's an halibut. It's a halibut. See that? Uh, pardon me, old boy, you, yeah. you made an error. It's not a halibut, it's a striped bass. Call me that again. Call me wait that minute, again. Wait a minute. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, you're the guy that pushed me over the pier, ain't you? What, what are you going to do about it? Hi, Red. What's going on here? What's the trouble? Oh, just a little argument. Argument? I was stuck in the mouth with a bloater. You call it an argument? You're quite right, Ashley, old boy. That's more than an argument. Who's looking for an argument? Take it easy, take it easy, take it easy, you. Come on, come on now. Who slapped who and with what and how? Oh, it seems these two Spaniards were quarreling. Don't call me a Spaniard. I understand it, please. Listen, you don't shut up, folks. Yeah. Sir, you're drunk again. Come on out, 
Archie Bull. You had no right to slap this gentleman in the mouth. Who struck me in the mouth? Oh, you struck him in the mouth. Oh, no. All right, all right, all right. Go on over there and sit down. Come on, now, cut out the comedy. Who slapped who and with what? This gentleman got it. Right here. Ah, now we've got it. He was struck in the mouth with a salmon. I tell you, it was a bloater. It was not a bloater, it was a salmon. All right, all right, Charlie, take it easy, take it easy. How about it, Frank? What happened, do you know? I was sitting there with my beak in a bowl of chowder, and this stew comes in with a big shad in his mitt. This Chinaman here said, waiter, where's my fish? And the stew bum says, here it is, and wrapped it around his puss. Sir, I am no Chinaman. And furthermore, it was not a shad. What difference does it make whether it was a shad or a swordfish? Ah, my boy, a vast difference. Had it been a swordfish, you would have been dead. I want to be paid for my fish. I shan't pay for it. I won't pay for it either. And I positively refuse to pay for it. I'll, I'll pay for it. You I'll bet pay. you'll pay for it, Charlie. Come on with me. Come on. Come on. Get come on. Come with me. I'll be back. Yeah, in 30 days. Now listen to me, Cock Robin. Oh, you kill Cock Robin. No, no, no. <laughs> But I'm going to kill you, you cute little devil, you. Never touch me. <laughs> Come back here, Oswald, and I'll plant this number nine right up in... I'm gonna date that dame up tomorrow night, Al. You better watch out. Her old man's a tugboat captain. He'll wrap a funnel around your neck. If I can date her up, he can wrap the whole tug around my neck. Bateman, three, eight, four, nine, six. Oh, Kate, I see your boyfriend was sent up the river. Yeah, I, I did hear about it. Yeah. Who's that? Uh, it's Helen. I can't talk to you now. Eddie's getting ready to leave. I'll call you back later. Are you sure you got everything, Eddie? Oh, my pajamas. Oh, I knew you'd forget something. Well, Dad, anything I can bring you back from Cuba? Bottle of three-star brandy, huh? <laughs> These days, you're lucky if you can get two stars. I almost forgot. You got a letter here from the War Department. I'll read it to you. Sergeant John Collins, sir. Dr. Thomas Reagan reports a general paralytic condition totally does not affect your sight or hearing. Proper treatment which the government will provide will prevent the condition from spreading, but complete cure is considered extremely doubtful. The Veterans Administration Bureau of Pensions will continue to send your pension indefinitely. D.W. Morgan, director. Oh, don't let that worry you, Dad. I'll get you a real good doctor. And in three months, you'll have you talking like a washwoman. What do you say, old timer? Well, honey, I'll be writing to you. You better. And Eddie, no drinky drinky. <laughs> I promise. So long, Dad. Oh, Eddie. Everything's going to be all right now. Why, what do you mean? Everything has been all right, hasn't it? Of course. But it's going to be even better. Ah, uh, sure. Well, so long, honey. Goodbye, Eddie. 
Yes, sir, folks, this is the far famed Nightingale 16 tube radio. Now, I'm not going to tell you anything about this radio because this radio speaks for itself. But think of it, there are 16 tubes. Now, each tube means more power. More power means more stations. More stations mean more fun and more fun for the Rileys. Now, can the Rileys afford not to have fun? Can the Rileys afford not to have fun? Yes, you're right. No. Another thing, you don't need any ground, you don't need any aerial. All you need is a pair of ears and the price to pay for it. You, uh, you get the long waves, you get the short waves, and then you hear about the finger waves, the permanent waves. You can get Japan, China, Australia, India, Alaska. If you get Alaska, you can get Chile. If you get Chile, turn back to Africa, you'll get warm again. It brings the world to you, your mother, your stepmother, your stepfather, in fact, anyone that lives in the same house with you. I tell you folks that the Nightingale radios are to American homes what fleas are to a dog. They're absolutely no good without them. Amen. Yeah, here's my card in case of any trouble. There won't be any trouble, so you don't need the card. Well, folks, I'm going along. I'll be seeing you again. Not if I hear you first. <laughs> Gee, it's a dandy, Pop. And so is the talking machine that sold it to you. Oh, Pop, put on your coat. For what? For Danny Dolan's coming. Who? Danny Dolan. You remember, the detective that was here the night of Kate's wedding. Wanted us to cut out the noise. What noise? What noise? Oh, that fella. Oh, the fella with the handshake. Yeah. Speaking of coppers, I hear flat feet. Oh, hurry up, Pop. Put on your coat. Come on. It's me. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's all right. I want it. Oh, oh, hello there, Mr. Riley. How are you? Many a time worse, but never better. <laughs> Welcome to me, house lad. Come on, sit down and enjoy yourself. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> hey, I try that. Thanks. That's okay. I want it. Oh. Where's your hat, Pop? What I want my hat. I thought you were going out. Out? No. Oh, yes. Yes, I was just going over to see your sister, Kate. Well, <laughs> well so long. So long, Mr. Riley. <laughs> Here's one for you, Dan. The first time Pat ever saw a train was dashing into a tunnel about 60 miles an hour, and he looked after it and says, Oh, if that thing ever missed that hole. <laughs> <laughs> the old man's feeling good, huh? Here, I'll take that. Are you afraid someone's going to steal it? I'll check it. Give it to me. No, 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 don't, don't break that. Don't kill it. All right, I'll trust you with that. Well, how do I look? Jake. Jake. One other thing? Thanks. All right. Why don't you send for your trunk? <laughs> I did. Well, it looks like I've won myself a home. I won't do it. I won't. Oh, yes, you will. You're going to do it sooner or later anyhow. I won't. I tell you, I won't. Give me those numbers? No. Are you going to give them to me? No. Are you going to no, give them to me? No, you're hurting me. Are you going to give them to me? No. No, no thanks, McGinley. I'm on the water wagon. I'm going up to see my daughter Kate. Hello, Pop. Hello, Kate. 
How are you? Is this our job? See you Saturday night at the policeman's ball. Oh, Danny, do me a favor. What? Put that derby on straight. If you wear it like that, people will really think you're tough. That's me. From now on, hard boiled. Not with me. Yes, sir. With you and with everybody. Kind of glad I sent for that trunk now, aren't you? Huh? I saw a swell picture last night. The name of it was the, the Strange something or other. Strange Inner Tube or something. Oh, I know. I saw that. That's the one where the actors say one thing and then a minute later say out loud what they really think. Yeah. You know, you remind me an awful lot of the leading lady. Good looking and a swell figure. That ought to hold you for a while, maybe. Hey, come to think of it, you remind me of the leading man. So big and strong. Probably won't be able to get into that derby now. You want to squawk your old man and put up if he came in and found us like this, huh? If he does, it's every man for himself. Well, there wouldn't be anything to squawk about. Not much. If he walked in here and saw me like this, they'd have to put you under ether to extract his foot. That's all. You know, I like your old man. That old guy's got a great sense of humor. His jokes are simply marvelous. The old man's all right, but how those jokes of his smell. I bet with an old man like that, you can't fool around like most girls do, can you? Hmm? I bet you don't even take a drink, do you? Only when I have a cold. Hope he didn't get a whiff of my breath at Kate's wedding. Yeah. I bet you've never been kissed either, have you? Of course not. Hope he didn't hear about the fireman's picnic. You know, I, uh, I feel as though I've known you a long, long time. I think I better slip this damn little kiss before the old man gets here. Oh, he kissed me. I'm so thrilled, but I'll pretend I'm mad. How dare you? Oh, is that the way you feel about it? Yes, that's the way I feel about it. Oh, all right, all right. And so, what if I had a big slug of gin, I could warm this name up. Say, uh, don't that light kind of bother your eyes? No. It don't? Funny, it bothers mine a little bit. My eyes are all right, but a fellow's got a better chance in the dark. What are you thinking about? Oh, nothing. What I'm really thinking of is, is this guy the marrying kind, or is he just on the make? What are you so quiet about? Oh, nothing. Well, this dame didn't make much of a squawk about that kiss. I think I'll put out the lights and give her the works. Hey! What's going on around here? All right, checkers. What do you mean, checkers? Every time I make a move, you jump me. Hey, do you think I was trying to get fresh with you? Not much. Oh, all right. That's the way you feel about it. Good night. Hey, you better get somebody else to go to that policeman's ball with you. And if you don't think I can, you're crazy. Jake. Jake to you, you big flat-footed bezoc.
look out down there. I'm going out. Okay. Bridgeau's going with you. Ginger, think I'd forgotten you? Look out, don't bite that dog. Hey. Oh, hello. What are you doing down here? Just came down to get a little fresh air. Well, you won't get it standing over the garbage can, I'll tell you that. Come on over here. Well, what are you doing here? Thought you were going to the policeman's ball. My feet are too flat. I can't dance. Well, mine are okay. I'm on my way. Oh, come on. Stick around a little while, will you? Well, I can for a little while, but not long. I got a date. With who? No, oh, fella. You wouldn't know him. Helen, I'm awful sorry about the other night. Are you? Yeah. But a guy don't know what to do anymore nowadays. No kidding. If he don't neck a girl, she thinks he's too slow. And if he does neck her, she thinks he's fresh. Hmm. Girl don't know how to treat a fella either. If she lets him maul her, he thinks she's no good. And if she doesn't, he thinks she's old fashioned. Oh, no, 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 you're wrong about that. That's the kind of a girl that every guy wants. That is, I mean, you know, if he thinks anything of her, is it, Danny? Why, certainly. Say, do you realize that I never knew how much I liked you until the other night when you gave me the air? I guess it's the same with girls. They never fall hard till they're dropped. No kidding. Is that the way you feel about it? Uh-huh. How about you? Jake. Now, that's the way to kiss. Sure, I'm acting like a gentleman. Yeah, acting. Will you quit running around like that? You got me dizzy. I don't mind it. No, oh, well, you wouldn't. You've spent half your life on a merry-go-round. Let's go up to Kate's. Will the guy with the teeth be there? Why don't we go over to your house? The old man's there. Oh, I guess maybe we better go to Kate's. How about your date? Oh, I just said that. Oh, I see. Trying to make me jealous, huh? No, as a matter of fact, I am stepping out with a fellow. With who? You. All right, let's step. Danny, huh. do me a favor. Sure, what? Put your hat on straight. Jake. News of the air. This program comes to you every night through the courtesy of the Zamp Tat Company. A daring escape from the state prison was made today by that notorious criminal, Duke Castanega. The car in which he escaped was found on a lonely road above Scarsdale. The driver of the car was discovered fatally wounded beside it. A posse of 35 men so far have failed to locate the fugitive, who, from last reports, is heading toward New York City. All police have been notified. A description follows. Six feet tall, weight 190 pounds, complexion dark. He was carrying a gun. Anybody seeing this criminal, notify the police immediately. Oh, hello, Helen. Hello, Kate. Hello. hello, hello, how are you? Ooh, ooh. Oh, I see you. Hey, what's all the noise? What noise? What noise? Oh, the wedding. We brought the dog over for the side. Hey, hey, come here. Come here, girl. 
Hiya, Sarge. I've heard a lot about you. Ginger's for you, Sarge. Yeah. He can do tricks in the house. I said tricks. Watch him, watch him, watch him. Come on, sit up. Sit up. Sit up. Now tell the Sarge you're glad to have a home. There you are. How's that? Come on, now, roll over. Roll over. Go on, show them how you get rid of fleas. There you are, right on your carpet, Sarge. <laughs> now go on over there and tell the Sarge you love him. Go on. Show them how you love him. Go on. There you are. Cute, huh? Well, looks like the pooch has got a home. Now I've got one, too. Want to see me to it? Sure, sure. Good night, Sarge. Good night, Sarge. Glad to have seen you. See you again, huh? Now you stay here. Stay here. Go on, go on. Come on, stay there. Good night, Kate. Good night, Helen. Hey, don't forget to feed him. You know, you got to give him something to eat once in a while or he won't stay. <laughs> All right, I will. Good night. Hey, lend me a kiss till tomorrow, will you? That's one you owe me. Now we're even. Come on. Hello? Do. Now, this Castanega is still at large. Not a trace of him. We know he had a girl down on the Lower East Side. It's up to you to find her. Any description of her, Captain? Oh, yes, a perfect description. I believe she had a couple of feet and wore a hat. Well, I was just asking. Yeah, and I was just telling you. I'm promising promotion, and the papers are offering $10,000 to the man who gets the new Castanega. I want results. Go on and get him, dead or alive. Yes, sir. Oh, Captain, can what? I, uh, can I touch you for 10? You cannot. I cannot. You'll be safe here. I knew you wouldn't fail me. I didn't want to help you. But I had to. Hey, you, you're under arrest. What for? For resisting an officer. What do you mean? You refused to marry me, didn't you? Oh, gee, you gave me heart failure. Come on, give me a cup of coffee, will you? I'm doing you a favor, you know. We're closing up. I'm doing you a favor by drinking this stuff. I said, do you know that I'm balmy? I'm nuts, I'm loony, I'm crazy, I'm insane. There's something the matter with me. I'm in love. I must be in love. Do you think a guy would drink 22 cups of coffee a day if there wasn't something the matter with him? You better cut it out. Doesn't it keep you up nights? Certainly it keeps me up nights. Will you marry me so I can get some sleep? Maybe you're not as much in love as you think you are. Maybe I'm... Come on, will you quit playing with yourself and talk to me? I'm more in love with you than I think I are. I got a pain in my heart right now. Probably indigestion. Well, if it is this stuff, I'm drinking won't help it any. Oh, come on, will you? Come on, be a good fellow and marry me, will you? Marriage is a serious business. I know it's a serious business. Listen, listen, I, I get 300 bucks a month, see? And I'm allowed to get more anytime. You can't tell what'll happen in this business. I might walk right out of that door right now and capture a couple of famous criminals, get thousands of dollars reward. They might even make me a lieutenant or a captain. Or a general. Or a general. You can't tell what'll happen. And listen, think of all the fun we have. Every night at 6 o'clock when I get through work, you can come over to the station house and wait for me. Come on, will you? Well, I what? Come to the station house and wait for you? Oh, no, 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 no. Will you marry me? You really want me to say yes? Say what, Dak? What do you think I've been doing? What? 
Yes. Consider it said. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Let me see what I got here. How do you like that? Oh, gee, it's a beaut. You ain't saying nothing yet. You really gonna marry me? I guess I'll have to. We're closing up. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm closing in before you close up. Nuts to Mrs. Sherlock Holmes. He's a dead one. From now on, you're Mrs. Danny Dolan, alive and raring to go. Give us another kiss, will you? Put your feet up there. Easy now. Come on, now. Come on. Easy. Easy. That's the boy. That's the boy. We brought him a new collar, Sarge. I won it. There you are. Now, see what I told you? Collar makes him look like a sissy. What's the matter, Sarge? Look, Danny. He's trying to tell us something. Kate says he always talks that way to Eddie. Blinking his eyes. Eh? Yeah. He was in the war, wasn't he? Yeah. What outfit was he with? I think Eddie said he was with the Signal Corps. Sure, that's it. He's trying to telegraph us. Maybe he wants something, see, and he can't make the folks understand what it is. You're right, Danny. Don't be so surprised about it. I'm nearly always right. I'll show you how to find out what he wants. Look, Sarge, take it easy now, will you? When you close your eyes, that's the dashes, huh? When you wink, that's the dots. Is that right? All right. I don't know what this is all about. We'll get a copy of the Morse code tomorrow and dope it out. All right, sign shoot. Can't be much, huh? It's pretty short. Maybe he wants more sugar in his coffee or something like that. Yeah. Maybe he's giving us a winner in tomorrow's handicap. Hey, sit down. You're rocking the boat. Look at the bloodhound. What's the matter with him? Hey. Look at him. He smells a rat. Hey. seen a ghost. <laughs> Nothing. Kind of startled me, that's all. How long you been here? You just dropped by to bring a collar for Ginger. Oh, cute. Yeah. Say, by the way, where'd you win this? Ah, uh, what do you mean, where'd I win? Nick's on that. Well, it's kind of sudden, isn't it? Yeah, it was kind of sudden. It was a sort of an accident. What do you mean, accident? Well, accidents will happen. Oh, I... I'm so happy. <laughs> Hey, how about me? <laughs> well, holy mackerel, I ain't that bad, am I? No, Danny, I, I'm just happy. 
happy, that's all. Oh. Well, do you want to make me happy? Start unloading that ice cream. Yeah, might cool you off. Oh, wisecracker. Hey, Sheba, make mine all chocolate. You'll take vanilla. I don't like vanilla. I want chocolate. You'll take vanilla and like it. I'll take it, but I won't like it. Thanks. What's the matter? Don't you like vanilla either? Oh, sure. I'll, I'll save mine for this orange. Oh. Say, uh, what did Danny go upstairs for? I'm gonna have to get Ginger. Oh. Listen, did you read about that Bezak who used to go around with breaking jail and killing a man? Yeah. I told you it was a bad egg. And to think you were gonna marry him. You don't suppose there's any chance of his coming around here, do you? Oh, no, of course not. Thanks for the ice cream. You think the old man's home yet? I don't think so. Let's hurry. That guy came up here. Oh, that was my sister's bull. He's the one that gave the Sars the dog. They've all gone. What about my brother? Are you going to do it? Why not? I'll be back. You ought to be along any minute now. Here he comes. Just a minute. I'm a detective. You live one flight up, don't you? Yes, sir. I want to search the building. Policeman. Who are these people? This is my wife. And this is my. And do you know what this is? Why, it's a revolver. Well, just be quiet and nobody's going to get hurt. Sit down. Sit down. family. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? Yep, eight and three from the wall.
1620. Calling car 1620. Go to 43 Bleecker Street. A woman beating her husband. Calling car 1620. This is a hot one. Another bank robbery. Yeah, who'd the bank rob this time? No one. This time, the bank was robbed. Ah, they were double-crossed, huh? Get a little dose of their own medicine. Mm. Can you imagine? Six bandits held up the family, living over the bank, bore through the floor into the vault. They did Oh, I remember that job. They got away with 80, 87 grand, didn't they? Mm. That ain't a bad haul, 87 grand. Oh. One of these days, they'll steal the White House in Washington. That's a lot of jack, isn't it? We had 87 grand, we could get married this afternoon. But Come in. Hey, stupid, have you doped that out yet? No, but yes. Sarge wants me to do an errand. Well, why don't you do it? I'm going. I'll be right back. You wait here for me? I'll think it over. Way to clam. How about a check? I'm here to write out a check. I'll write it out myself. One cheese sandwich, 15 cents. One java, 10 cents. Uh, one rice pudding, two bits. Another chowder. What's the matter with you? Nothing. Don't tell me that, you fool you. You've got the Duke hiding up in the attic, haven't you? I know. I... I'll get him out of here. Where is he? Who are you looking for? Get out of this house. Who says so? How did you know I was here? Did you tell her? Oh, no, Duke, no. Mr. Sarge, he signaled with his eyes. Listen. If I'm caught here, she's in on it. You know that, don't you? Yeah, that's why I don't want him to find you here. So, you're giving me a break. No, it's Kate I'm thinking of. You better be thinking of her. Run down and get me a taxi cab. If I do, will you leave right away? Get me the taxi. Wait, driver, the guy won't be leaving in a taxi. Danny, 
Don't arrest him here. Don't disgrace my sister. I couldn't disgrace your sister. She did that herself. And as for you, I thought you were a square shooter. What for? Helping a murderer, yeah, and double-crossing me. Hurt? No, no, no. I'm just resting. Is your hat, Danny? You know it's my hat. Hey, get it nice and tight now, Doc. You know, I like to look neat, even if I am wounded. Well, you did a good job, Dolan. You're the best man in the precinct. Thanks, Cap. I'll say the same for you when you get shot. <laughs> How do you feel, Danny? I feel swell. What's a little bullet between friends? Tell me, what was this man Castanega doing in this neighborhood? And what did he want up here? Oh, why, I... I, uh, uh, I chased him up here, Cap. Yeah? Oh, sure, sure. I spotted this guy down on Pier 13, see? And the minute he saw me, he took it on the run with me after him. I chased him over about 12 or 14 roofs and every cellar in the neighborhood. Well, finally, he broke his way in here, see? Hopped right over the table there, and I hopped over right after him. Yeah, he hopped over right after him. I hopped over, uh... Well, you're the means of saving that money, so I'll see that you get the reward. Would you like a cup of coffee? Yeah, that's uh, not a bad idea. Do you want a cup of coffee, Cap? No, thanks. Never use it. Coffee's bad for you. Coffee's bad for you. Coffee's yeah, bad well, for you. Now, get, the, get all the rest you can. And whatever you do, lay off the coffee. <laughs> all right, Cap. Hey, Al. Yeah? Get me a cup of coffee. Okay. Danny, I'll never forget this. I'll never be able to, to repay you. Ah, what are you talking about? You don't have to repay anybody. I don't... All you have to do is keep away from those sharpshooters and keep out of trouble, that's all. You want to remember, you know, that you're a married woman and married women don't cheat much. Stick to Eddie there. Sure, even if he does look like a runaway horse, stick to him anyway. Hey, uh, how about a cigarette? Was that a wedding or was that a wedding? Never saw so much rice in my life. One guy threw a shoe at me and forgot to take his foot out of it. <laughs> Isn't it great the way everybody cries? Four dollars, please. Oh. Now it's my turn to cry. Hey, I keep the change, you bandits. Saying it wasn't a bad idea of mine either. Going out the back way, was it? Nobody knows we're here. Nobody knows we're here. No, nobody knows you're here. Is he going with us? I don't know, are you? I don't know, am I? <laughs> You thought you'd give it the slip, eh? You wouldn't tell anyone where you're going. Well, if you want to know real bad, we're going to Bermuda. Bermuda, that's where the onions come from. <laughs> oh, Danny, by like all the others, you have a heart of gold. Sure, it's great of you to shared the reward with the sergeant there. What are you talking about? It was great of him to share it with me, and I'm going over and tell him so right now. <laughs> Danny, you old cheat. I thought you were going to marry me. Now, I'll give you a chance the next time. Where's Alice? Alice? He's up there. Go ahead. How are you, Sarge? What's the matter? Don't you remember me? I don't blame you. I guess it's the hand. 
Still the same Danny Dolan, Sarge, big feet and all. Gee, it was great of you to come around and see us off, Sarge. You're a pretty swell guy, you know that, don't you? It was a mighty nice thing to do, not to tip Eddie off about Kate. But we know, don't we, Sarge? She's a great gal, and everything's gonna be okay. We know that. Good luck to you, and lots of it. Say, I'll send you some postal cards from Havana, see? Look at Goodbye, Sarge. Good luck to you. Come on, come on. We're gonna... Bye, Bye, Hold that boat! I'm going with you. That's right. You're the girl I married. Come on. Come on, baby. Danny, do me a favor. Sure. What is it? Put your hat on the old way. <laughs> Jake. Well, it's all over. Come on, let's have another drink, huh? Eh? <laughs>